Hey friends, welcome back to Hope Kids. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Shani. And we're gonna have an amazing day today. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. I can't wait for this story. It's gonna be really exciting. I can't wait for Hera and Marvin. Oh, I can't wait too. But first we should pray. Would oh yeah, like we it? should. Yes. So we're gonna fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes. Thank you, God, for today. Thank you for whatever you're gonna teach us. Thank you for all the fun we're gonna have. Thank you because you love us. Amen. Amen. Now we're gonna have the story. Make sure you pay attention because we're gonna have a quiz afterwards. So Kaylee, you know about superheroes, right? Yes, I love superheroes like Iron Man and Spider-Man. Why are you asking them? So the Bible is actually full of superheroes. Really? Mm -hmm. Like Jesus? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he saved us all. But there's also other heroes. And they might not always look like heroes. Really? Mm -hmm. Like who? Have you heard about Gideon? No, I've never heard of him. Okay, so Gideon was, he was nothing special. He was just mm -hmm. a normal boy, just like you and me. Mm -hmm. okay, we're normal girls. Anyways, but he was living with all the Israelites, right? Yeah. But because the Israelites have been really bad, God has sent them enemies. Oh no. Yeah. And these enemies, they took all their stuff, all their animals, all their food, and brought it to their own land. They took it all? Mm hmm Took everything. That's not nice. No. So because of that, the Israelites went into the mountains to hide. So Gideon was hiding in kind of a, like a wine press, and he was doing something with grains to make flour. Hmm. And then one day, right next to it, there was an oak tree, and an angel came. An angel of God. It came to him? Mm-hmm. And you know what it said? What did it say? The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Wow. Mm -hmm. But he was hiding. Why would it call him a warrior? It's because God saw his heart. He knew that Gideon was a great man. Oh, boy. But you know what Gideon was? That said. You know what Gideon said? What did he say? He was like, um, I don't think it's me you're talking to. Well, he didn't say exactly that. But he was like, well, if God is with us, why is all these bad things happening? Hmm. Which makes sense. So he didn't know if he believed what the angel said? Yeah. Hmm. So the angel said, well, you have so much power and you will save the Israelites. And Gideon was like, mm, I don't quite believe you yet. Hmm. So Gideon wanted to make sure that it was really God he was hearing from. So he went and got um, some beef some broth and some bread and he put it on a stone next to the angel mm -hmm. and the angel had a stick right yeah and the angel touched the stone with the end of the stick and you know what happened what happened Whew! and it was gone it just disappeared yeah it disappeared because god was pleased with his suffering and then gideon knew it was god talking with me wow so he did it to test God and to see if God really meant it and God did it to show that mm -hmm. he really meant it. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And then he went home. And that was it? He just went home after that? Yeah. But in the night, God said to Gideon, now go out and take all the idols. Do you know what an idol is, Katie? Yeah, it's something that people replace with God and they worship. Mm. It's not good. It's not good. And that's what all the Israelite has done to get God angry. Oh no, that's yeah. not good. So God said to Gideon, take all the idols and put it on an altar and burn it. Did he do it? Yeah, because Gideon knew that God was with him. But what if someone took some of your stuff in the middle of the night and burned it? Mm. How would you feel? I would not be happy. No, I don't think toys and everything. I would not want them to take it. No, me neither. So the next morning, Skidian did this in the night so they couldn't stop him. Hmm. So the next morning, they call for Gideon and his father, and they're like, um, Gideon, did you do this? And Gideon said, Yeah, but if these idols were alive, they could fight for themselves, no? So he proved that the idols were not God. Well, by saying that, right? Yeah, like he had to fight them, but Gideon wasn't scared because he knew they weren't real. 
Yeah. So it's kind of cool. That's really cool. Yeah. And I think there's more to the story, but it's a long one. I think this is all for today, and then the second part we're gonna take next week. Wait, so there's more to this story? Yeah. Wow, I'm so excited for next week then. But I think we need a Bible verse to help the kids remember it. Oh well, yeah, I remember the Bible verse too. I think yeah. there's one, right? It's, the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Judges 6, 12. Nice, good job. Thanks. Should we unscramble it with Harry now? Yeah, we should. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Harry. Are you ready to unscramble the Bible verse for this week? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. So how about you start? Okay. Um, I think it starts with the angel of the Lord. Okay, let's see. The angel of the Lord. Mm -hmm. What do you think comes next? Now it's your turn. Hmm. The angel of the Lord. I'm not sitting on anything, am I? No, you're not. All right. Do you think it's said? Mm. Do you think he said? Oh no. I think he appeared or, first. Oh, okay. He appeared to. To Gideon? Mm hmm To Gideon. And said. Now it's said. Oh, okay. Yeah. And said. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. The Lord is with you. Oh, I see. Mighty warrior. Mm-hmm. That was easy. Yeah. And then Judges 6, 12. Mm-hmm. Let's read it together. Are you ready? Okay. The angel, angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said, said the, the Lord is with you, you mighty warrior. Judges 6, 12. Wow, good job, Harry. We did that so fast today. Uh-huh. High five? High five. Woo. All right, here's the first question for the review game. Was Gideon a mighty warrior because of his heart? That's correct, it's yes. Yay! Was Gideon going to save the Israelites? Answer was yes. So you both were wrong. Oh darn. Okay. Here's the next question: Is an idol something or someone that people replace with God? Kelsey is right. It's yes. Yay! Are idols the real God? Kelsey is correct. It's no. <sighs> Idols are not God. There's only one God, and he's our Lord and Savior. All right, so it looks like Kelsey is our winner. Good job, Kelsey. Good job. For today's craft, we're going to be making a sword, like one for a warrior, like Gideon. And it's going to say Judges 6.12, which is the Bible verse of the week. For this craft, you're going to need glue, three popsicle sticks, different colored pens, and a black pen. First, we're gonna start by taking our glue and our popsicle sticks. And we're gonna put them end to end. So we're gonna take the glue, and we're gonna put it at the end, and then we're gonna put the other one on top. And then we're gonna take the third one, and we're gonna put a dot of glue right in the center, the one. I'm going to put it like this. So it looks kind of like a cross. And then we're going to wait for that to dry. Once it's done drying, we're going to color it in. Thank you. 
then we're going to take our black pen and we're going to write Judges 612 on the handle here. And then we're done. And then you're done. You've got a warrior sword for Gideon. And it's got the Bible verse for the week too. All right guys, so the game we're gonna play today is gonna go like this. We're gonna build our own mighty warriors. Now the way that we're gonna do that is we have two people that are gonna be playing the game. And as you can see, we have two helmets for the warriors. We have two breastplates for the warriors, two swords, two shields, and two sets of shoes as well. And the legs are there too. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a piece of paper and it's gonna say something like helmet. So if you draw this, then you get to take a helmet and add it to your warrior. And then the next person's gonna draw theirs as well. Whoever gets all five pieces of armor on their warrior first is the winner. Let's get started. All right, do you wanna go first? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna drag this one. Ooh, what's it say? Breastplate. Ooh, that's all right. this one. Yeah. Nice. I can move these, that way they're out of the way. Um, shield. I like this one. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Shoes. Ooh, mm, this one. All right. Oh, he looks good. Yeah, it's already looking like a good person. Shoes! Me too! Nice! Okay. Mmm. I'm gonna take this one. I don't have a place to put my shield yet. I don't think it belongs on his feet. No, I don't think so either. Ooh, I got a sword. Ooh. Whoops. Breastplate! I tore it a little bit. Oops. Okay. I can attach that right there. Ooh, now he has a place to put the shield in his hands. There we go. Nice. Um, this one. Aw, oh, I already had a sword. Oh. All right. None of us has heads yet. <gasps> sword. Nice. I got mine. Oh, I'm going to put mine like this. He's ready to attack. Mine's not. Like a true warrior. All right, what do I have here? Helmet! Ooh. I'm gonna choose this one. So you're just missing a shield, and I'm just missing a helmet. Yes. Shield! I already have one of those. Oh, I can't yeah. take another. I don't have any hands to carry it. <laughs> and a shield! Oh. Yay! Nice work. Thank you. He looks pretty good. Yeah. Do you guys want to see? friends, now we're going to be doing our dance. We're going to be doing Shipwrecked. Do you remember it? It's been a while since we've done it. Through every storm of life, I know you're by my side, so I am holding on. What are you doing? And two plus two is equal five. No, 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 no. That's not it. <clears throat> Harry? Harry? Oh, sorry, Marvin. I didn't see you there. I could tell. What are you so occupied with? Um, I'm having a math test tomorrow, and I'm really nervous. Why are you nervous, Harry? It's just math. You know, two plus two equals four. Oh, that's what it is. I thought it was five. I'm not so good at math. That's okay, but you can learn and become better at math. Excuse me, but I'm the youngest in my family and the worst one at math. Now you are starting to sound like Gideon. Why? The star didn't say anything about him being bad at math. 
But if you remember, Gideon was the youngest of his family, and they were a poor family. But God saw something different in him. So you're saying that I'll be like a math warrior? Well, maybe, Harry. Only God knows. You know, you might become the next Einstein. Marvin? Yes, Harry? What's an Einstein? Oh, that's a longer story for another day. Tell me, would you like some help with math? Yes, please. Um, what did you say? Two plus two equals seven? No, it's four. Let's take a look. <laughs> Goodbye, kids. Bye. Wow, I had such an amazing day today. Me too, I really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed telling it to you and the kids. Yeah, I really enjoyed learning about it too. To hear all the stuff that he did and how he burned the idols to prove that God is the one and only God. Mm. It was really amazing. So we hope to see you guys next week for another Hope Kids so you can learn more about Gideon. I'm so excited to learn more. Yeah, me too. We hope to see you guys. Bye. Bye.